And it's another Madre morning here, uh, Peter checking in with our YouTube channel. And today I'm speaking with Rebecca and Toshi. And uh, <clears throat> they are going to give us a little video report of their stay at Madre Tierra. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we came here with, we didn't have a lot of expectations. The only thing is I needed a, a good internet line and that was really all I had in my mind. And I, but it looked like a lovely space and I thought, well, you know, why not go for it? And when we got here, it was it totally surpassed every, <laughs> every expectation that we had. Um, it's a beautiful space, a gorgeous view, and that was something we didn't know about actually. Uh, yeah. We didn't know before we came that we'd actually, from our balcony, we'd have this hammock and we'd be looking out right across the valley, so that was spectacular. Um, the other thing we didn't know about before we came, we came was, was how good the food was. Um, we didn't realize that you had your own organic garden, and that's for us is a big, big thing, because in, back in Japan we ate 100% organic. So for us, organic food is, is definitely a, a big plus, and being a, we're, we're sort of very, very close to being vegan. We don't eat any meat and we eat no no dairy and the kitchen here was able to cater for us perfectly. Um, not only that, but they also cook without oil, without using too much oil and sort of you know that bad um, bad things. So we always felt good after after the food and there was enough variety to keep us interested the whole time. There yeah. was a lovely spa with a beautiful spa menu that we never actually got around to using. <laughs> so we stayed five nights and um, and still felt like we could have gone for another two or three easily. So um, yeah. lots of things to do around the place. A lovely little friendly community where we met lots of people in town and enjoyed having a chat. and. Um, Beautiful place to chill out for a while, really. Um, yeah, it's quite a, quite different to a lot of the other South American experiences we had. Whereas you can just sort of sit back in pleasure. Um, yeah. It's not hard travel. It's very easy travel here. So um, yeah, we'll, I think we'll, we'll definitely be back once we, we come to Ecuador every now and then. So I think we'll yeah, be, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely make it. It's a great uh, area. It was in the air, yeah, especially yeah. In the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah when yeah. you wake up, when you go to the balcony, everything will be so out. Yeah. It's really good. The water's yeah. good too. Actually. Yeah, water's yeah, good. Water yeah, is yeah, good. water's good. Yeah, yeah, so just things like that, it feels good. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember uh, corresponding with you, Rebecca, um, and you did state there in your email that the internet, because you had a couple of conference calls or something, and you needed that internet. And then I, I believe I responded. You will see. I, I don't don't quote me because I'd have to look at the email. But I said there are many reasons why you will enjoy Madre Tierra besides the internet, right? <laughs> Very true. And you just reported that. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. The internet was the least of our worries. Actually. <laughs> it was so, the last thing we felt like doing when we're here as well. So. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. yeah well, no, beautiful. beautiful. Thank you very much for your comments. Oh, and the other thing, uh, you know what? The other thing was yeah. it was really good that everybody spoke really good English here as well. So oh, yeah? we didn't really feel bad about our terrible Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it was just easy. Everything was easy. So. Ah, yeah. right on. Yeah, well, thank you for being with us. Uh, and I, I, just for the record, uh, you were in room five, and um, and you stayed five nights, and you were um, you're wishing for more. So great. Thank you thank very you. much. We'll see you next time. Okay.